Hello, I am Dr. Brian Giggins, Vice Chancellor for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences. The COVID-19 pandemic has presented our state and our country with new and unprecedented challenges. Among those has been the communication of vital information to some of the communities most severely impacted by the disease. In this video, the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences Division for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion has gathered leaders in healthcare, sciences, business, the community, and the faith community to help explain the nature of this new threat and to hopefully dispel some of the most dangerous misconceptions that threaten our public health. I hope you find this video both informative and enjoyable. Thank you. According to the Arkansas Department of Health, Black or African American patients made up 35% of both the total number of COVID patients in the state and 35% of all deaths from COVID in Arkansas, even though African Americans only represent 15% of the state's population. Let's be clear. Systemic racism is a factor into why Black communities have worse health overall than white communities including things like diabetes and heart disease. These are health disparities and they need to be fixed. Until then, we must take care of us. The reasons for these disparities are structural factors, such as employment, access to health insurance and medical care, and the environmental quality of neighborhoods that are typical sources for Black infections and death. These, along with many other reasons, are fundamental characters within Black and Brown communities and at individual levels to explain these disparities. It's not rocket science, but the information can be a bit overwhelming. Let us help you with the science. While we all miss our family and friends, large gatherings are not social distancing. It's just social. We thrive on connections and the ability to spend time together. However, let's be creative and use platforms to catch up like Zoom, Google Meet, Google Hangouts, or even FaceTime. Yes, Arkansas has opened some of its businesses, but the most important thing to remember is your health and safety first. So whether it's grocery shopping or visiting Barbara Beauty and nail salons, remember to be safe. This is not over. But with everyone adhering to the guidelines we've gotten and doing everything they can to remain safe, we will be back to vacationing and enjoying the activities we love in no time. COVID-19 is a threat to everyone. Beating it is going to take a community effort, and each of us have a part to play in that. Think of others and how your actions affect them. Keep COVID away by being responsible and staying home to save lives.